right, we are here at the tiny worm bin. And it's been about 12 days since we were in here last, so we'll see how it's doing. This side feels pretty moist. And this side feels a little bit drier on the top, a little crunchy. But as the deeper I go, I definitely feel it getting moist. And this one, I saw some worms in there. I'm sure as we go deeper, we'll get some. Yeah, there's a couple right there. One in particular. But yeah, we're just gonna dig in here. Aerate it out. Very happy with the castings. In fact, I would say we definitely hit the 50-50 mark here. 50% 50 castings, 50% Still in the cardboard and paper, there's several worms. So they're making good work out of this. Just really impressed with this bin. They're doing good. I guess I could use a little bit more moisture. Yeah, there's everywhere I look, there's worms. Little baby one right there moving around so that's good that there's babies in here and adults I'm sure there's cocoons that I'm just not seeing but definitely lots of worms squiggling out of the way hopefully you can see that But I think we're ready for our feeding. I definitely like what I'm seeing here. There's the bins starting to fill up. The worms are in abundance. You know, not like my other worm bins that have thousands in them. But, you know, I would say we, these guys have probably, eh, they maybe have doubled since they, since we started this. But we'll go ahead and put in some good stuff for them here. Give them a watermelon for my sugar baby watermelons I've been growing. Some apples. Some broccoli. Blueberry or two. Some banana peels. Some more melon and I'll feed them a little bit more than I have because all that food was gone even though it's been 12 days which is a long time I feel like I can give them more food because they are eating it away and not having any problems and I may uh, I may pour in some of this liquid from the food too there's an apple core and then, of course, we'll do our normal the coffee tea grounds. And some more food for them. And then our grit, which is just pulverized eggshells. And that'll make for a quick and easy feeding for this tiny worm bin. I think it's the 11th feeding. We'll just cover it back up. May add some of the juice and we'll call it a feeding. This bin is doing remarkably well. There's a worm right there. Yeah, this bin is doing remarkably well. I'm pretty impressed with everything I'm seeing here. And if you've been watching the video, you can probably see the progression of um, the bedding turning into, turning into castings. I'm just going to add a little bit of the liquid. And that'll probably do it. All right. I hope everybody's doing well with their vermicomposting setups and worm bins. Take care, everybody.